Hi, I'm Ariana Grande, and this is me on the Zach Sang Show again. I'm here to talk about my new album, Thank You Next. And my friends are here, who I was lucky enough to work on the album with.、Um, mm. This is Mikey and Scooty of Social House. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>、um, this is Tommy Brown and Victoria Monet. <laughs> and yeah. We figured we'd all come together and share stories and、uh, hang out. And yeah, we're here. Thank you, Zach and the gang, for letting us do it. Dude, everybody's in for a treat. And Fredo's in the corner. Looking <laughs> more handsome than ever. By Smiling the way. and bringing the best vibes as always. And、really、are. off camera, but contributing the most. <laughs> Let's do this. Zach Sang Show. Zach Sang Show. Hello, beautiful humans. Dan's here. Yep. I'm here. And Ariana Grande's in the studio. I'm back. How crazy. I'm so sorry I'm back this soon. Shut your mouth. It's crazy that you're back in the, the five and a half months. Yeah. That's the time between Sweetener and Thank You Next. Barely five and a half months. I'm smiling too hard. I'm like very excited <laughs> to be here. And I feel like I feel really, really, yeah, peaking. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, my excitement's here, but my body's here. So they both can't keep up with the other. I'm sorry, go ahead. What is it about this album that makes you so jazz? Like, it really, it exudes from you. Um, I think, um, just how we made it. I made it with like my best friends over the course of a really small period of time. And it kind of like saved my life, kind of. It was just kind of like this. Uh, super、uh, challenging chapter that, you know, sucked. And then my friends made it amazing and special. And I'm forever grateful for that. And、uh, the music just feels like how it felt making it, yeah, I feel like. Is it the right thing to say that it was just friends helping another friend get through the average things that people go through in life? Mm hmm. Right? I see Tommy shaking his head in the corner. So I'm like, yeah, that's right. By the way, Tommy Brown is here. Hi, yeah.、Man. Everybody's here. Yeah. Victoria. Tommy, Victoria, Mikey, Scooty. This is a part of the team that really crafted、Thank、Josh and、next. Daniel. Ah,、oh, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> was there a defining moment that you remember that was like, okay, this happened and now it's time to start creating another project? I don't remember that moment. I was trying to ask Victoria earlier. I was like, when did we, like, when did this happen? Because I don't remember it. Like, it was such a blur, I think, because of like, like emotions and then also like champagne. <laughs> I don't remember when it started or how we got there. I know that things started getting tough and all my friends flew in. Like, all my friends were like, Hi, I'm on a plane. Be there soon. And、um, at that point, I wasn't going to tour. I had met with my label and my whole team in New York, and I said, You know, I'll give the advance back. I'm not leaving. Like, I can't. I'm just not in the position to at all. I'm not like emotionally stable enough or healthy enough at all. Like, I need to really like take some time. And、um, my friends kind of really turned it all around.、Um, I wish I could like credit therapy, but I didn't do anything really. It was really mostly just my friends and this music. And、um, Wendy, my AR, was like, if y'all want to, you know what I mean? Like, there's a studio across the street. I live right across the street from Jungle City in New York. So we literally went to the studio next door every day, like walking distance, walked to the studio every day,、um, and just made music. And it, made, it turned everything around in my life. It was just like, it sounds really corny, but it was like the most beautiful. Would you say the most healing body of work you've ever put out there? Oh, well, yeah, because I don't think life has ever been as bad as it was when we stopped, right? Yeah. Yeah. It, as my best friend who knows everything, I'm like looking to her, I'm like, has it ever been that bad? She's like, nah. No. <laughs> no, confirmed, no. It's really rare to see a friend group like this exist. I don't mean to be like, life, woe is me, but I, I'm like a really lucky kid. I know, I'm very. Grateful and blessed, but it was just like a tough time personally. Yeah, but I don't mean to be like, boo f who, I'm sorry. But not at all, because what you face is what so many people face all the time. And when I was listening to the album, I saw and I heard myself in records. Like, and I understood 
how somebody could really, it's almost like looking in a mirror almost when you really connect to a record. And these records, they represent things that everybody goes through as you experience and navigate life. Yeah. And some people, I don't know, you, you heal your own ways, right? And I want to know what song Zach Sang saw in the mirror when he listened to this album. In my head. Really? Yeah. That was a big one. And I really... Uh, I was joking when I asked that, but you really came back quick. <laughs> oh, no. Like a real authentic answer. That one really... For a few different reasons, I understood it. And I don't know. It, it, it's a very powerful record. And I think... What, what do you think of that song? What do I think of it? I mean, w w when I say in my head, what's the first? <laughs> but what's the first thing that comes to mind? Because it's such an honest song. Yeah, um, I think the first thing that comes to mind, we're 24 hours away from people hearing it, is how terrified I am for people to hear it. Um, second of all, I guess just uh, that thing that I do, I do a thing, I do a thing with people, uh, that the song kind of explains. You know, I just want people to listen to it and have their own experience with it, but. I do this thing where sometimes I like paint a different picture of of someone that I am either that I either already know is not what I'm believing they are and I'm hoping that they are that or I'm like slowly learning that they're not what I had thought I guess does that record too long of an answer I want to get media training go not, ahead not at all does that record start with that voice memo from Doug from Doug yeah is that was that the, the the catalyst to that creation or was the record created no we had a, the dots it was funny because we had a different we had like a quote from a movie there um it was jack nicholson saying uh you seem to have things strangely confused in your mind and uh we can clear it legal unfortunately but it's actually worked out way f like i like this so much more because i was like you know what like doug was such a incredible friend to me during that time and i like i don't know if i would have you know, gotten myself out of certain unhealthy situations if it hadn't been for his help and, you know, uh, whatever. So I was just, you know, was like, oh, this is fitting, actually, perfect. Yeah, it also says in your head, in yeah, it, which it, is like wild. It, it, yeah. From the second that record starts, I get goosebumps. And Thank you. yeah, it's beautiful. I also saw myself in NASA, mm. the distance thing. Who, who came up with the lyric, I'm the universe and you're NASA? Taylor, Victoria, right? Yeah, I mean, she loves... Hop space. on that. Yeah. She loves space so much. It was like a really fun song to like express that with like what she was going through at the time. Um, but yeah, that was me and Taylor. So like it starts with NASA? Does it start with distance? Because even that first soundbite, another one that starts with a really, really powerful quote at the top of the record. <laughs> That's Shangela. Yeah. You know who Shangela is? The drag queen? No. That's Shangela. Oh my she came to visit the studio when we were making NASA and she was like, she was like, girl, this is one small step for woman, one giant leap for womankind. And I was like, you need to say that again right now. And that's going at the beginning of the record. And she was like, oh, girl, hold on. Let me get ready. And I was like, yeah. you're not on camera. It's just your voice. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so much better. It wasn't originally. It was a like, countdown. And I was yeah. like, Victoria. Oh, yeah. It was originally a countdown. And I was a like, Victoria, we got to change that. <laughs> it was like, it was like, like five, four. 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 <laughs> and I was, like, <laughs> I was like, Victoria, that's not. You can't. It's not going down. It was so funny. It's much better. You were like, I like it. Yeah. I was like cool <laughs> D did that record start with her fascination of space or did it start with wanting to tell a story of distance I, was that the morning that we were out buying the rings yes and i okay. actually i was like yo come here we got this yes, idea yeah um but it started with the hook it started with the hook and we were like kind of like rapping like rap singing <laughs> like and it was just really fun and then when we decided to name it nasa was after we said i'm gonna need space we were like hmm yeah. Okay. I, and it's fun. It's like very her. It clicked. Yeah. Mm. Would you ever go to space? Yeah. Even if there was a chance that you wouldn't be able to come back? I don't care. Yeah. I don't You're care. in? I don't care. Okay, got it. I'm, I'm just, I've had fun, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever's meant to be, will be. I feel like space would work out really well for you. <laughs> Me too. I feel like you... The, you I'd love to go right now. <laughs> 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 Ship me out. No, you'd be the person who goes and like you you'd be the one who survives and sets up yeah, civilization. Of course.
My luck. Yeah. I'm kidding. Sorry, that's really dark. That's dark. That's dark. I'm sorry. I apologize. No, I would. I would love to go to space. The honesty in this this record does it bring you, the, the, reel the, me in. Keep going. The honesty of this album does it bring you guys closer together as friends? No, we've been yeah, we've, we've been, been as close been as it gets <laughs> for as long as it's. But you've been working together. So what? years of years. Yeah, it's been a minute. But is that what made it so easy? Obviously, because you had so much history. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Like with, with the thank you next hook, that's like one of my favorite stories. Is um, Victoria? Like I was like obsessed with the chords. Like everyone was like, okay, this is like something. Let's like stay here until we get it. And thank you next was something that I said for like years. I always would be like thank you next to like anything you know this yeah. guy but like it would be like if there was something annoying or if we saw something that we didn't really like or if our friends were going through something we'd be like let's just say like thank you next like you know okay mm -hmm. well then that's it thank you next and my friends and i would all always say that victoria and i were trying to find videos of it we don't really have any like video documentation of us saying that i think there's like a couple but we said it in our everyday language a lot and then I heard Victoria in the corner just being like, thank you, next. And I was like, <laughs> I literally, I think I like said something awful. I was like, fuck you. She said, I was so excited. She said, Blank, are you saying thank you next? I was like, yeah. <laughs> blank, I said, bitch, say yeah. Okay, we said, I don't know if we can say it. Victoria, you scared the shit out of that record, even though you've said thank you next in your life, does it take hearing it in a song to really make an imprint on you to be able to actually move on and say and act thank you next? Do you get what I'm saying? Can you say the question one more time? Make, I forgot what you said at the beginning of the sentence. Put, putting Because I was thinking so hard about it. You were halfway through it and I forgot it. I'm sorry. It's okay. Putting it into a song, does <laughs> that allow you to actually, like, does that validate it for you? Because you can say thank you next yes. all you want, but hearing it in a song and it's a, a hit like this well it became super real you know yeah. what i mean like putting it in a song makes it very okay cool we definitely just closed that chapter you know what i mean it's like we had like three different versions of the song what, what what's the biggest difference between the three of them well i well i was like i'm like super shy when it comes to like pitching wild things and so I was like is it like insane if we put if I name people and thank them yeah. directly in the song and Taylor was like well bitch, it's gonna be a thing if you do but I think it's brilliant and she was like but I think it's special and yes do it right now like let's do it and then we did it and I was like wow this is really 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 special and feels really like something you know and then I went home and slept on it and um we came back and I was like okay let's make another version just in case without the names um and that still exists somewhere today that still exists on y'all's hard drive somewhere what, what was in there instead of the names I think I said um say I'm uh, say I'm too young or something. Yeah. I have a too many boyfriends. I was just talking about what people say about me still. Yeah. So it still like was like, okay, I'm embracing my mistakes and my what I've done and everything that's contributed to who I am, but it was just less direct and everyone kind of, including me, um, was kind of like, this is not the version. Like me as I was doing it was like, this is not the version. But I was also trying to be protective yeah. You know? I so, um, Victoria, you want to take the reins? Tommy was like, <laughs> I like when Tommy tells his part. <laughs> yeah, I was like, look, <laughs> let her record it. Let's all play along. With the names. Let's play along. No, without the names. Without, got do it. it without the names. Everybody was mad. I said, no, we're going to do it. But we all really know what version it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, we know which version it is. Because also in my relationship at the time, things were like up and down and on and off. And so I didn't know what was going to happen. And then, you know, we got back together. So I had to make a different version of it. And then we broke up again. So we ended up going with that version. There was a version where I was getting married. There's a version where I'm not getting married. There's a version with no nothing. We're not talking about anything. And um, But we all knew that the first version.